Welcome back folks. Next model on the workbench is here. Just picked this up yesterday at Hobby Lobby. $25.99 with the 40% discount. It's not too bad. I that's that's where I get most of my models between the uh, Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Michaels you can get a 40, sometimes 50 or even 60% off. Their model selection is very slim at Michaels. Hobby Lobby's got a great model selection and you can get a 40 percent so i'm going to open this thing up and check out the in the uh, contents of the box check out the it's going to be cool it's a drag car it's already got tubbed out narrowed rear end uh, big block chevrolet cool let's open it up see what's inside So it's a round two AMT by round two. I don't know if this is a re-release. I'll check with Scalemates, that website that I like to look at and see if this is a re-release or if this is an original 125th scale. roll cage will not be painting it gold i don't know what color i'll paint it <laughs> looks like a very minimal the kit is minimal in parts so if you look at without all falling out look at the you can see the picture of the contents you've got one tree radiator firewall you know just it's not many parts it's a it's a it's going to be quick those are some cool center line wheels here oh they've already got the white letter good years oh that's cool let me get a few bags opened up so obviously i'm not trying to sell these models or promote them for anyone so i don't have to do it in any particular order there's the body good looks good that's going to be a, a nice body maybe I airbrush this one instead of ruining it with paint cans like I do all my models and they the paint turns out terrible maybe I'll airbrush this one see how that goes here's your your carpet in always I like that it's already made onto your your chassis so that's some of the, you know, it takes up a lot less parts. Tubbed out rear end. I wonder if it has a four link. Let's see. Looks like maybe ladder bars. I don't know. It's pretty detailed. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is, this will be a pretty quick build. Too many parts. Let's see, yeah. Oh, there's your hood scoop. So almost just like the grill for like a Model A Ford or something, but it's a little hood scoop. Here's your engine. I like these um, when they have the exposed rocker arms, or even in the engine, the exposed cylinders. Like, you know, you could make it a uh, work in progress or they've got the heads off or just got the valve cover off on one side. That would look cool. I'm, I probably wouldn't do that. That's some nice looking hinges. I don't know how those work. But those are nice looking hinges. Hood with the cutout. You know, if you want to put the hood scoop with two fours sticking out. Draft shaft. Tie rods, radiator. No idea what this is. What is that? Not sure. But anyway, cool. Big block Chevrolet heads. Got a little bit of flash on this one, but that's okay. Not 
not enough parts to really complain. Got the dashboard nicely detailed. Got the tack over. Well, may, maybe I'll put it where you can see. The little bitty tachometer, I think is what that is. There on the side. So, because it has no back seat, it's got, you know, that someone's already gone in and made the, uh, customized the, the sheet metal around where the back seat would be. So, it says Chevrolet. Got the door panels and the inner wheels and the steering wheel. Roll cage. Narrowed. Well, they didn't use a Ford 9-inch. They've got a Chevrolet rear end. Or a Dana, more than likely. That's a gosh. I keep putting it where you can't see it. I'm sorry. A Dana, probably Dana. Was it Dana 60? Is the nice heavy duty rear end. If, if you choose not to use like a, a Ford 9 inch, a lot of them use a Dana. You got the roll cage. There's your parachute. Headers and the race seats. Don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining outside. It's been raining for the last couple of days down in South Georgia. Check out this chrome tree. Yeah, those center line, which I will probably flat coat the wheels, but those are those those were always just the best looking drag wheels to me, those center line wheels. Here's a chrome clutch fan, which that will be painted. Nice chrome valve covers. Alternator. Nice looking grill bumper, rear bumper. Looks good. There's your carbs. Velocity stacks. Breathers. You can choose to put breathers on them. There's your rear or your uh um, your wheelie bars and I think this is actually your suspension as well well there you know there's the tachometer right there maybe that wasn't a tack there's your intake tunnel ram option for the single carburetor and the and the breather good looking chrome not too not too shabby tires look at that nice soft A little scuffing already pre white lettered oh cool check it out they give you two sets. They give you a street set too. Well, that's cool. I want you have an extra set of set of tires for the next for you know if you ever want to have a build a custom drag car or something or didn't have some good tires. There you go. And the front tires are. Oh my goodness. Looks like some sort of bias ply. I don't know why they would do that. But anyway, there's the tires. And front rear window, tail lights. Let's see what the decals look like. Okay. Just some pinstripes. Several different tags though, which is pretty cool. USA one, there's your gauges. Nice. And the instructions. I don't have to go through the instructions. There it's a model car. Pretty well all the same. Always starts with the engine always ends with the decals um, nice anyway all right well let's get started get some paint on this thing right i think get some pre-assembly maybe i'll come back i don't know maybe i'll just start painting i really don't know 
again I'm not pushing trying to sell these cars no one sent me this car to advertise it I just want to build it and, and take you guys along and it'll be fun so get started 67 Chevelle that's cool I like this model Chevelle better than the 60 what 8 9 I, I don't care for that model uh, th this is this is a good looking Chevelle all right let's get started okay so with this build I'm gonna just make it a uh, it won't be a street rod it'll just be a drag car and if you've been to any drag races before or looked at any you know strictly drag cars they don't usually at least they don't run an alternator they will many times have a electric motor that will run the water pump and not the crank but just to make this more simple I'm going to eliminate I'm going to eliminate the uh, alternator belt and the alternator at, all the way and I will take and remove this piece of the belt here and use a portion of this and fit it in to make it look as if it just has a single belt and I know in theory that probably wouldn't work because there's no way to adjustment but for the sake of making this you know a drag car I want to do that so I will I will remove that and again fit a piece of this so I'm going to speed the video up and we'll uh, see what we can get done with it. Okay, so I so at first the the pulley from the crank to the water pump didn't fit, didn't align properly. So I heated it to try and stretch the, you know, the existing belt. And all it did was shrink and bow. So I had to cut both sides out. Now this looks really, really bad right now. But what I'll do is I'll add more glue and add more glue to the, to the gaps and then trim it. And it will, it will turn out to be will turn out fairly decent it like I say it looks pretty rough right now because I had to cut both sides I wasn't planning on that but I'll trim it up get it get it glued and the biggest thing was it would not wouldn't reach right so I had to extend it a little and when I was trying to heat it it it, it messed it up so all right catch in a little bit so I don't really care for the hood scoop that comes with this doesn't seem to fit the hood very well um, I'm going to rather I have a lot of these CNC um, different types of bits for my CNC machines that I have I'm gonna put it in my Dremel and I'm going to try my best I think I'm gonna draw an oval I mocked up the hood with and put it I've had the intake on the uh, in the on the engine and you see these two dots is where the two spots on the intake were touching. So I know where I don't want to have the square hole. I would like to have more of a round hole that would fit the velocity stacks. So I'm going to attempt. And if it doesn't turn out, I'll go ahead and just cut it out. But I'm going to attempt with this bit in my Dremel to have an oval opening. So the velocity stacks or the breathers, whichever ones I choose to use, will stick up out of the hood and not have a hood scoop. So let's let's see how this goes. All right, well that's pretty much just melting, melting the plastic, so maybe I'll be able to shape it up with my knife. 
and get it to be more of a uniformed hole right now that looks really good doesn't it see if I can see if I can get it to be more uniform I hope you can hear that chicken outside I have <laughs> I have chickens I have probably let's say probably a hundred chickens we sell farm raised eggs you know just as a on the side and those chickens you hear uh, I let them out from time to time out of their big pen so they can roam around the yard and eat bugs so every once in a while you might hear a chicken you might hear a rooster crow but I can hear some just outside my building and they make the neatest or the weirdest may I say noises sometimes So yeah, I'm gonna gonna work on this hole and try to get it more more uniform. And I'll check back with you in just a few minutes. All right, so it did not work out to have just the hole in the hood. It wouldn't look right. I had to cut it out um, with the uh, stamped mark that was in it. Uh, I couldn't get the oval hole to work. So I just said, what the heck, put the hood scoop on it. It's a drag car, it needs a hood scoop. I just wanted it to uh, have more of an exposed engine, but I caved, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to put any more time into it, so I went ahead and uh, just put the scoop on there. It, it, it fit better than I thought it, it would. I had to trim the uh, center, uh, the uh, raised portion of the hood in the middle, had to, had to trim a piece of that. Um, but all in all, it, it fits pretty good. So, there it is. Got the hood scoop and the carbs will stick up through it. Can't see them through the hood scoop, but oh well. Alright, continuing on. Alright, so on this, I'm, I'm shaving the, uh, the emblems. Like, I don't know if you can see this or not. Super Sport. I'm going to take that off. It's a drag car. It doesn't need emblems. Here on the front, it had the uh, the two flags and probably 396. It was so small you could hardly read it. I've already removed that. Okay, so I went at this. I bought this at Family, yeah, Family Dollar, just a dollar store. It's got several different. It's for fingernails. So you've got grit. You've got uh, fine grit then you've got the smooth ones and then you've got these that are like buff they're just smooth so once I, I'll show you what I do okay so I take my razor knife clean the blade off and you have to be so careful because with the razor knife if you're cutting like I'm gonna do the first couple times you can gouge down into the body so all you want to do is just get the just get the majority of what's sticking up. And then when you think you're going to get too close, you may start gouging the body. Just take the blade and just drag it across. Not too much. Just drag it across just to remove any high spots that you can feel. Then I'll take the, uh, let's see, this orange side here. It's a l just very, very fine abrasive. And keeping the reflection so I can see if there's any sticking up. Just get that, just hit a few times, get that smooth and this really fine. Just buff it so it gets those sand scratches out. There it is. It's gone. I mean, if you look close enough, you might could see something, but okay. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish. I thought about removing the door handles, but. 
I think I'm gonna leave them. So anyway, I'm gonna remove this one and I'm gonna get this thing, try to get this thing uh, ready for some paint. Not sure what color, I've got several colors to choose from. I'm gonna see what color I'm gonna paint it and get the hood, well, actually, you know, get it primed first, get, let the primer dry for a day, get the engine and the chassis and all these things um, painted. And it's gonna be cool on my engine. Um, uh, you know, it shows in the picture at least, it's just a Chevrolet orange. But I'm gonna come and uh, paint the heads, make them aluminum, because, you know, I just want to, and I can. I can't afford, <laughs> I can't afford aluminum heads for my own vehicle, but man, I can I can put some on this car and, uh, and, and get it get it looking good. Anyway, um, I was thinking about also removing the inner fender wheels, but we'll see. Anyway, all right, moving on. Okay, so I removed the um, fender wheels. So now you'll just have the, uh, the chassis showing. You'll just have the chassis showing, and under the fender wells, you'll see the headers. I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget <laughs> to put this thing in camera view. So, yeah, it'll be open more like a, a drag car. Obviously, drag cars, they want to cut weight. They want it to be as light as possible. Also, the radiator for, for this is here, which there's nothing wrong with this radiator, except it has a built-in fan shroud. And I'm not going to use, remember earlier, I, I, I'm just using a, uh, all I'm turning is a water pump, I'm not turning a fan. I could have put a fan on there, but I'd rather not. But I had a, uh, a kit, an open box that it was a, uh, Kevin Harvick, uh, NASCAR. It was a new kit. I got it from Ollie's. So I'm sacrificing the. A radiator that already has an electric fan on it so I will uh, remove the portion of the original radiator and I'll replace it with this radiator with the uh, electric fan um, and go with a an aluminum radiator like a Griffin you know style radiator uh, you know it it doesn't have a radiator cap but that's okay I think it'll be all right but so I, I really wanted to, you know, customize this, customize this car as much as possible to make it, you know, to make it look more of an authentic drag car. Um, but anyway, got the cage built. That's right. It goes in and I like how you actually can put the cage in um, after you've got your interior. Some of them, you know, they're a pain. The NAS little NASCAR kits are, can be a pain with the the roll cage but anyway I wanted to show you guys how I remove the fender wells I'll get the suspension in place I'll change out this radiator put that one on so we can have a nice electric fan for our, our drag car which would be um, uh, more realistic than having a a fan that's driven by a belt because anytime you're driving something off of the engine it robs horsepower so therefore, you you uh, tend to not see too many drag cars with a uh, with a belt driven fan. But anyway, all right. So let's continue on. All right, guys. So I've painted the uh, or got the primer coat on the body, and it turned out great. Um, it's been a little cool around here, uh, South Georgia. I know I'm in South Georgia. It doesn't really get cold here compared to the uh, other parts of the the country, but. It's pretty cold and so your paints get um if you they're not up to a certain temperature you know you have a problem with with the paint you know laying smooth so what i've done is i took a uh well i'll show you, I'll show you. so this can this this container here and i uh i've got it it's like an incubator for my paints so it's just it's not a heat lamp it's just a uh it's, it's just a light so i'm gonna i've got the uh 
paint's all warm, so I'm gonna paint this thing. I, I said I was gonna airbrush it, but I'm not gonna airbrush it. I'm gonna paint it. I, I debated on what color to paint this thing. What color to paint it? What color to paint it? I like orange. I'm just an orange guy. And I've got this paint. I haven't tried it yet. It's nice and warm, so it should go on uh, smooth and, and glossy, and I'll probably still have to put a, a nice clear coat on it, but I'm about to paint it, and we'll see how it turns out. I said I was going to airbrush. I think I said I was going to airbrush. I'm not sure if I said that or not, but I'm not. I'm going to spray it with this, and again, we'll see how it turns out. So let's get the paint. There's the orange paint. Turned out good. Really, really nice. Few little blemishes I saw. Maybe I can get those uh, buffed out if, if I need to put a clear coat. I think I probably will. Wow, this is a great color. Really good color. Bet you couldn't believe, I bet you wouldn't uh, guess what my favorite orange car was. No, you probably couldn't guess. Although this is a, a Chevrolet and it would happen to be a Dodge. But anyway, yeah, this is a, this is going to look nice. And then the cage. So the cage is going to, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'll, I'll make it the same color as the body. And um, uh, the, the back, you know, your back portion where your uh, seats would have gone. But the, the sheet metal over the tubs, that will be aluminum. And I'll get some other things painted. And we'll wrap this video up. Um, when I, I'm not, the last couple of videos I've done, it's like I just wanted to throw the car together. And I wanted to get a video out. I'm going to break this one up into two, maybe three parts. Take a little more time. Uh, try to make a quality uh, model kit. Uh showing you guys how I wanted to do a few things. I've got the, uh, where, where did it go? I've got my radiator somewhere that I, it's right here that I've got painted. I've got it added to, um, well, I've got it primed rather. I've got it added to the, um, the front, uh, of this car. So it, it's mounted on the, I don't know what you'd call that front bulkhead or something like that. Um, so I've got the radiator with the electrical fan off of the NASCAR kit. I've got my headers. I've got them in primer, so I'll be able to uh, to get them painted. Um, probably in a uh, just a silver of some sort. I like to make them look shadowed. So anyway, um, go, again, going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching, and I'll have part two out soon. Within the next few days, um, I don't like to waste time. I like to build models quickly because I like the satisfaction of having one complete. But uh, this one's got a few custom things done to it. So I want to take my time a little bit more, make it look more realistic. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, uh, share, and subscribe. And um, hey, I'll catch you next time. See ya.